Hello and welcome to today's lesson where we're going to look at evaluating data which is part of the measurements and errors topic in AQA A-level physics. So in today's lesson what we're going to do is understand how we can gather data in a scientific investigation and how we can then evaluate that data. So if we're successful and we learn in today's lesson we should be, we should be able to understand how data can be analysed in investigation, detail scientific results and then produce a valid investigative data analysis which falls into the following part of the AQA A-Level Physics specification. The use and application of scientific methods and practices, the numeracy and the application of mathematical concepts in a practical context, and finally, independent thinking. Now, we can use the data analysis of experimental results to produce conclusions from the data. Now, the first conclusion you can discuss is the validity of the experiment. Now, it's important to note that if the percentage difference is smaller than the percentage uncertainty, we tend to believe the result agrees with the theory. Now, this is because the percentage uncertainty details the range of data your experimental value lies in, whilst the percentage difference details the difference between the accepted answer and your experimental answer. So, if the percentage difference is smaller than the percentage uncertainty, then the accepted answer answer must lie within your possible range of values. So this means your experimental results agree with the theory. The second conclusion you can discuss from your data is to determine the major source of error. So in this instance you'd find the highest percentage uncertainty of the measurements taken and try to decrease this value in future experiments. Now we can look and analyse data to produce two different values. The first one is percentage difference and the second one is percentage uncertainty. Now percentage difference is carried out to determine how close the experimental answer is to the accepted value in physics, whilst the percentage uncertainty is uh, used to determine the range of values your experimental result could lie in. Now the percentage difference can only be calculated in investigations where you are given an accepted value for a term, but percentage uncertainty can be calculated in all investigations. Now percentage difference is a concept you've covered previously at GCSE, whilst the rules for percentage uncertainty were covered in the previous lessons on uncertainties. But the equation to calculate percentage difference is the difference in the values divided by the accepted value times that by 100. Whilst to work out the percentage uncertainty, it's the absolute uncertainty divided by the value times by 100. So your percentage difference is working out the difference between the accepted value and the experimental value. You then divide it by the accepted value and you times it by 100. Now it's important to note that to determine the major source of error, you look for your measurement with the highest percentage uncertainty. And then you would look at ways in which you can reduce that percentage uncertainty. Now you can reduce Reduce percentage uncertainty in a value by either increasing the size of the measurements taken, i.e. use larger numbers, or by using a device with a better resolution. Now it's more common in investigations to use larger values as it's easier to do so than find a device with a higher resolution. Now we can reduce the uncertainty in any value by carrying out the experiment with a greater or better experimental technique, which at GCSE we refer to as the accuracy of the experiment. Now just please remember that altering the percentage uncertainty and the absolute uncertainty are different procedures in physics investigations. Now let's just look at an example of how you can analyse data from values you've collected in a scientific investigation. So say for example the accepted value is 10.0 whilst the experimental value you have worked out is 9.5. So the first step you would do in any data analysis is work out the percentage difference from the accepted value. Now the percentage difference is the difference between the accepted value and the experimental value divided by the accepted value times by 100. So it would be 10 minus 9.5 which is 0 0.5 divided by 10 and all that times by 100 which equals 5%. So that's a very very important step you've got to take. The second step is looking at your overall percentage uncertainty. So let's say for example we had a percentage uncertainty in time of 3%, a percentage uncertainty in distance of 2% and a percentage uh, uncertainty in current of 6%. Let's say they all add up because they either all multiply or divided in your equation and we get an overall percentage uncertainty of 11%. So the second step 
when analysing your data is to work out your overall percentage uncertainty due to the errors in your investigation. So to clarify, we've worked out that our percentage uncertainty is 11% and our percentage difference is 5%. Now once you've got both those values, you can draw some conclusions. So conclusion one is the experimental value agrees with the accepted value. We know this because the percentage difference is smaller than the percentage uncertainty. The second conclusion we can make is that the biggest source of error in the investigation is the current. I know this because it has the highest percentage uncertainty. Now we could we could reduce this percentage uncertainty by either using a non-fluctuating ammeter or larger values of current. So, what have we learned in today's lesson? Hopefully we can comment on experimental design and evaluate scientific methods. We understand how to present data in appropriate ways. We can look at how you evaluate results and draw conclusions with reference to the measurement uncertainties and the errors. You understand the variables that you need to control in an investigation. You've considered margins of error, accuracy and precision of data. And you can process and analyse data using mathematical skills uh, as exemplified in the mathematical index for each science found in the practical handbook. So if you've been successful and you've learned in today's lesson, you understand how data can be analysed in an investigation, you can detail scientific results and you can produce a valid investigative data analysis. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on evaluating data, which is part of the measurement scenarios topic in AQAA level physics. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.